kind of leaning on just a little bit more, Lord. My God, but the Holy Ghost is moving quick today. And I said, the Holy Ghost is moving quick today. I can see it now. I can see it now. God said, I'm moving quick. I'm doing a new thing and I'm moving quick. You better catch up if you want to get caught up. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. That was a beautiful song. Man. I enjoyed it. Thank yeah. God. God done saved someone this morning already. He done gave us something to think about this morning already. Sung yourself into our hearts this morning. I guess the only thing now is to preach. Yeah. Have a little bit of all the time. Have an offer and go ahead home and say, Lord, you've done everything. Yeah. My God, he moved it quick yeah. and in the fast and in the hurry. And we were just talking about how he said, I'm going to come in a moment and a twinkling of an eye. Yeah. My yeah. God, he's showing us a little bit, a little bit of what's getting ready to happen. Yeah. Do you feel good in your soul this morning? Yeah. I feel good in my soul. I mean, I feel good down to the very bone marrow DNA of the blood of Jesus Christ flowing through my body. I said, I thank God. Man, I thank God. God bless you, Brother, brother Darius. I thank you for coming this morning. I thank you. This is Amen for our visit this morning, Brother Darius. Yeah. Right. And that's free and family. He said he was going to come. And we thank God for, for uh, him being here this morning. Uh, as visitors, would you like to say anything before we proceed? God is moving quick. He said, no, I'm getting out of God's way. I'm not going to get in his way. That's all right. We thank God for seeing our dear sister Marsha. Sometimes she makes it on Sunday. But she always makes it on me. And this ain't man for being here this morning. Yeah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. My God, if I want to preach, I would preach about the power of God. My God, he's got power, power. in his right hand. He's got power that he releases down in the man's hand. I said, God is powerful. He is powerful and quick as a two-edged sword. Turning in his body, separating spirit and soul, getting down. In the church of God in Christ, when you get a minister, you got five minutes, you better not get up testifying. You better get up preaching. So I went back to the old school, but we got some serious, good, sound wisdom teaching and preaching going to come from our own Elder Mixon Senior. Why don't you agree with God?
Praise God. You have that. Now, Peter and John mm -hmm. went up together mm -hmm. into the temple at the hour of prayer. Mm -hmm. Being the ninth hour, mm -hmm. and a certain man lame from his mother's womb mm -hmm. was carried, whom they laid at the gates of the temple, which is called Beautiful, to ask arm of them that went into, that entered into the temple. Now, whom seeing Peter and John about to go in, about to go into the temple, fastened his eyes upon him with John and looked on, looked on us and he gave me unto them expecting to receive something of them. Then Peter, Peter said, silver and gold have I not but such as I have, I give I unto thee. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus Christ. Yes, sir. Of Nazareth. I command you to walk. Yes, sir. Praise God. Praise God. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Yeah. Of Nazareth. Involved in anything. They could have been 
getting together to go fishing. Praise God. They could have been getting together to go do all kinds of things. But it was laid on their heart to, to let all the day pass by except this very appointed time. Three o'clock in the afternoon. There was just something about that. God is getting ready to move in our life somewhere and today we, we, we're going to meet God with whatever problem that we have. My son always say that if you call on him, stay where you at and he will meet you there. Praise God. Praise God. One day Peter and John and it was, they were going to the house of prayer. Be in the temple of God in the afternoon about three o'clock. They were going to pray. Yes. Pray God. I, I, I can't help but to want to do. We set aside a certain time to where when we go and come before God in prayer. Mm -hmm. Talk about There is power in prayer. Yes. Praise yes. God. Yes. You can't beat prayer. Yes. Prayer is the key. Uh -huh. yes. Yes. Praise yes. God. Key to what? Well, I'm so glad you did. Uh -huh. Praise God. Prayer is the key to your home, to your happiness, yes. to your job. Yes. Praise yes. God. Yes. To your livelihood. Yes. Yes. Free is the key. Prayer is the key. Praise God. To your food on the table, clothes on your back. Yes. It is the prayer, praise God, of a sound mind. Praise God. It is the key to your health. Yes, sir. It is the key to your strength. Yes, sir. Praise God. Praise God. It is the key to your well-being. Yes. Praise God. Yes. Indeed, brothers knew. Yes. Praise God. Yes. They had a communication line that never got busy. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Praise God. See, when we call one another, sometimes my line sometimes go deep, deep. That means something that's busy. Yes, sir. Yes. Praise God. But when you call on Jesus, on, Jesus is never too busy yes, when he can't yes, Praise God. Never. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Praise God. Amen. As it was called, beautiful, the beautiful game. Now, I want to make this clear. Because we are people who like to see things like we like to, like to see them presented. Now, these brothers just didn't go to the gym to, to, to notice the beautiful game. It was something in their life that God had to bring to pass. And knowing that this brother that whom they laid daily. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. I'm going to tell you in, in the middle. This man was 40 years old. Now he had been lame from his mother's womb. Yes. That means he had been lame for 40 years. Uh -huh. yes. Yes. Praise, God. Praise God. Amen. And, and it's, you know, I, I know pain and I know suffering. Yes. Amen. For me to try to capture that in my mind, that's just too long. Right. Yeah. Amen. And, 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 and God had seen this brother being laid there. Now, it was all right for them to lay him there, see, because they didn't have the modern things that we have today. He couldn't go down and sign up for SSI. Yeah. Praise yeah. God, because they didn't have SSI, yeah. the Social Security Disability. Back in the day. Yes, yes. So this is how he had to earn a living. Yes. Yes. Praise God. Now, now, now imagine, imagine that being you or me. Let me let me let me turn that around because see, I don't, I don't want you to leave here thinking I'm talking about you. <laughs> Praise God. Yes. Let me imagine that being me. And this is how I had to earn my income yes. every day. Yes. Amen. You got to get away from pride. Yeah. Right. Yeah. You got to not think about what people are saying. Right. Praise God. Yeah. Simply because 
you were trying to make ends meet. Uh -huh. And apparently, ain't nobody giving to you. Then you wouldn't have to be at the gate. Praise uh -huh. God. If you had a substantial income, there's no way you would be carried down to the gate because you know folk laughing at you. Folks talking about you. Folks seeing what you do. Praise God. And it's, it's an embarrassing thing to have to be in a situation where you got to depend on other folk. Praise God. But help me, brothers. Praise God. Coming down to go into the house of prayer. Amen. I see they had something on their mind before they got there. I'm not saying that they knew that this brother was going to be laying there and didn't say that. But imagine, praise God, that they have something that you need. Praise God. And you've got to get in the way in order to receive that. You ain't going to let nobody get in your way. Mama can't stop you. Daddy can't stop you. Kids got to wait. Praise God. Because there is something that God has for you and you got to get it. You got to receive it. Praise God. Doing those 40 years. Listen, because God has something that he had to give to this lame man. This lame man couldn't even die. Because God has something for him. And you can't die if God has something for you. Do you receive that? Praise God. Praise God. If God has something for you, it is for you. Yes, sir. You can't send your mama to get it. You can't send your daddy to get it. Amen. You have to be present in order to get your own. From God. Praise God. That's right. Amen. Amen. I like that. Praise God. I, I was going to take this a little bit further because. Praise God. Yeah. Praise God. You know, you know, when. When I received what God, when I received some of that, what God had for me, my whole demeanor changed. Hallelujah. Praise God. And I noticed on the day I run, I'm not done. God is not done with me yet. No, sir. Amen. When this thing comes full circle, Praise God. I hope I can still look in the mirror and recognize who I am. Yeah. Or who I am. Praise God. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Now, now the, the people there were, were amazed at what had took place. Mm -hmm. Amen. And, and and in, and in being so, they acted though they, they, they didn't know what had happened. And Peter had to enlighten them and ex explain to them, you know, what had took place. Yeah, y'all know what's done happened. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Amen. Y'all know what's done happened. Y'all know y'all have dealt with him before. You're looking at us as though we had the power or goodness to make this man well. Yeah. But let me tell you, it was not us. Uh -huh. It was not us. Oh, yes. It was the God of Abraham, yeah. of yes. Isaac, and Jacob. Oh, yeah. 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 It was through faith in Jesus Christ yeah. Yeah. that caused this man yeah. to be made whole. Yes, sir. Yeah. Praise God. Come on, brother. And I tell you, if, if you're in a situation and you call on the name of Jesus, uh -huh. yeah, uh -huh. yeah, yeah. Yeah, man, something is going to happen. Yes, sir. Yeah. Something is going to happen. Yeah. Yeah. Praise God. You cannot deny that 
the power of God. Yeah. yeah. Praise God. Yeah. Mm. And as this, as this man held on to Peter and John, and the people were amazed, and ran in the, south, the porch of Solomon, as they were called. When Peter saw the people, just a little bit. Mm -hmm. When Peter saw the people, he said to them, Men of Israel, why are you so surprised at this? And why do you stare at us? Do you think that it was by our own reason and our own power and our own goodness mm -hmm. that this man had made was made whole? No, it was not us. I want you to know it was not us. In the name of Jesus. It was the power of God in the name of Jesus. Uh -huh. See how they were working? Yeah. They were working together. Uh -huh. Praise God. Come on, man. To satisfy these people's mind. Yeah. Amen. Praise God. It is one of the things that when God does something, he deals with the man. Amen. Uh -huh. yeah. Because see, when God healed my heart, I, I tell you, I'm glad he did it. But I was so messed up, I didn't know what to think, except thank God. Mm -hmm. You know, because there was something done out of the ordinary. Mm -hmm. Praise God. And I'm, I'm just thankful for that. Still thankful for that. Yeah. Praise God. Amen. The same God of our ancestors. Praise mm -hmm. God. Our God of Abraham, Isaac, and Nathan. In the name of Jesus, praise God. In true faith. Yeah. In the name of Jesus. Yeah. Yeah. Praise God. That what you see now, in, in the name of Jesus, the power of God. God has given his divine glory yeah. to his son Jesus Christ. Yeah. That called this man yeah. to be made whole. Be made whole. Yeah. Praise yeah. God. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. You shouldn't be so surprised about this people here uh -huh. telling them because. You, you once had him in your presence. Yeah. Yeah. Praise God. He was here before me. Uh -huh. Praise God. And y'all denied him. Yeah. Turn him over to the power of the authorities. Mm -hmm. yeah. Amen. To where he will be suffered and, and, oh, and be crucified. Imagine now. Just imagine if you will in your mind that Peter here is telling them what they done to our Savior. If anything, that would be hard to accept after seeing such a wonderful miracle. Yes, yes. We did that. Yes, yes. Yes. Praise God, we did that yes. to our Savior. Yes. Praise God. But thank God for Peter. Yes. Thank God for Peter. He, 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 he kept telling them that Our own power was denied. Our own self was denied. We come to this man in the name of Jesus. Mm -hmm. And it was the faith in him, yeah. praise God, that raised him up to yeah. make him whole. Yeah. Praise yeah. God. In the name of Jesus, in the name faith of Jesus. in Jesus Christ, yes. that caused him to be made ill. Yeah. Praise God. Praise God. We, we see that today. Praise God. Yeah. We see that today. Praise God. And we know, we know when, when that thing happened, we know who was the cause of it. Even though Pastor Dow will be instituting the prayer, but we know where the power comes from. Yes, sir. Yes. Yes. Praise yes. God. And, and for those of you that don't know, Pastor Dow will tell you where it comes from. Oh, exactly. Praise God. Because he knows. Yes, sir. Praise God. I'm going I'm to leave you there.
stronger and stronger and stronger and stronger. My God. God is doing it right in front of our eyes. Y'all know that? God is stripping right in front of our eyes. And I love it. Let's deal with this temptation thing, church, before we, before we have her off. Let's deal with this thing. Let's deal with it. As Elder told us today that we can rise up and walk in Jesus. Yes, sir. Yeah. We can rise up and walk on Jesus, in Jesus. There's a few, maybe all of could be some, I don't know, but let's deal with this thing honestly. You don't have to come to the altar, but where you're at, you're going to stand and you're going to ask God. This temptation thing. When we were born into this world, there was certain demonic activity that was assigned to watch us. Yeah. There were demons assigned to watch us. Yeah, they were looking. And they were looking for a crack or a hole. Something that could penetrate and get a hold of us in to drive us the rest of our life. Some people picked up a lustful spirit. Some people picked up a stealing spirit. Some picked up a lying spirit. Some picked up a, 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 a depression spirit. Something to drive us, to keep us away from the power of God. Then we get saved, and that demon has to be cast out. But that demon does not lose his assignment from the devil. He was assigned from the beginning to watch you to watch me. I can remember back when the first demon got a hold of me when I was a child. I'm not going to tell you what it is between me and God. I remember it all. I was a little boy and I said, this ain't right. This ain't right. And I knew it. But I didn't know what I know today. That demon waited for a door of opportunity to open up to get on the inside of me. And he got in there and he brought some company with him. But then when I got saved, he had to go out. But believe me, he didn't leave, he just hang around. And hang around. And hang around. And wait for the same door to open when he got in the first time. See, because he can't get in now because we're filled with the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit is a repellent to sin. But the Holy Spirit don't repel temptation. We do that ourselves. Yeah. We're always going to be tempted in this life. Yeah. But we don't have to yield to temptation. Yeah. But God told me this morning there are some in the church that's yielding to the temptation from when that demon watching was watching them as a child is still there oppressing them and is still the same reaction that it was before they got saved. Right. So this is why we ain't coming to the altar. I think I may even do it this way. Before we get ready to leave, everybody going to stand so we don't see who stood for what. Because God loved you too much. Amen. I love you too much. That's wisdom. Y'all hear what I'm saying? Because we ain't going to point nobody out. Ooh, he stood up. I did. What's going on with him? No, we ain't going to let the door open. But everybody in here goes through temptation. Some of us are yielding to temptation. And some of us find ourselves fighting temptation too much. Yes. And some of us don't even respond to that temptation. But I'm going to tell you a temptation that you will be tempted with till the day you die is that sin that came in that drove you before you got saved. Amen. If you can't find no new trick, you're going to use that old trick. Y'all hear what I'm saying? Oh, this is honesty today. This is honesty today. Some of it might be money. Some of it may be your good looks. Some of it may be your strapping muscles. Some of it may be your coat bottle shape. Whatever. The devil found something to use against you and to use against me to go against God. That demonic entity did not go back and stay back. It was sent back to us once it was cast out. The devil said, that principality said, if you can't get in, just keep knocking at the door. Amen. Am I right about this thing? See, everybody may not want to do Am I right about this? Amen. Am I the only one that the enemy just keep trying to knock to get in? That I got to say, in the name of Jesus, yes. I'm going to rise up and walk and not let this thing walk on me, but I'm going to walk on it yes. because he gave us power to trade on serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy. Amen. Walk on it, he said. Yes. Well, you yes. 
one. Yeah. Brothers and sisters, it's in here. So what we're going to do is make sure that we get a knowledge of those temptation things that can either cause you to sin or cause you to occupy the temptation too much to where you should be doing something else. Yeah. And then we're going to pray for the strength of the temptation that don't even enter in no more. And we all have that victory. There are some things that bothered us before that don't even enter our minds no more. Right. Am I right about it? But do you think the enemy just supposed to give up? That's his job. Let me say this and then we're going to say it. Satan is an angel. Angels were created by God to be helpers to those that are heirs to salvation. Y'all with me so far? Yeah. Hebrews. Yeah. Angels were recreated to be helpers of those that are heirs to salvation. Uh -huh. Satan is an angel. Even though he rebelled and he is now the devil, he never lost his original assignment. So when he comes to bother us, he helps us to get closer to God because we are heirs of salvation. Do y'all hear what I'm saying? So as long as the devil's on his job, he really not hurting you. He helping you to stay close to God. I know I reversed it, but it makes sense. I know I reversed it. Tell you what, when hell starts breaking in, and trials and tribulations start flooding in. You notice the devil? Don't you get a little bit closer to God? Yeah, yeah. He's on his job. Yeah. So we give him credit for being on his job because he helps us to get closer to God. Yeah. But he don't help us to sin. He helps us to get closer to God. Yeah. This is what we're going to do today. I'm going to ask everybody in this church to stand up so we won't have nobody that we can look at and say, oh, you're the only one in church. Stood up when Pastor said, everybody had temptation. That's the devil why everybody in the church got temptation. And you just handle it different than the maybe person next to you. But everybody in the church got temptation. But we're concerned about those today that are leaning. That are leaning. And we're definitely concerned about those today that fall back. God wants you to stand up and walk on it. So that's why our ending prayer will be this morning about this thing of temptation when God was dealing with him. He said, I'm going to give you the power you need. You take a second to reflect on what tempts you the most. If you have to travel back to your childhood to get the knowledge of why that temptation is still here today, but you're saved and you got birthdays and went past, past it, but you still kind of feel like, I've been here before. It happened when you were a child. Something scarred us when we were children. I'm talking about the deep root now. I'm not talking about something that happened last year that somebody messed with you and messed you up. I'm talking about the deep root now. I'm talking about what they call a tap root. That thing right there. Let's take a discovery of that tap root of sin and find out if it's still got a little bit of, you know, leverage. If it does, let's cut it today. Let's cut it today by faith in his name. Let's cut it today. And then upon this week, challenge to see how far you've grown from this Sunday. Some of you know exactly what I'm talking about. Some of you wonder what I'm talking about. But I know what I'm talking about. God is good. He's going to do this for us. Let's pray, church. Let's pray. Father, in the precious name of Jesus Christ, we acknowledge, we acknowledge today the taproot of temptation. The temptation to have me follow does not always equate out to sin. The temptation to have me follow does equate out to occupying our time. We want to be broken from the occupation of the temptation that occupies our mind and our time. That we can move on to greater thoughts and be about your business. Not to be tormented with the time of the temptation. Father, there's some that have fallen to the temptation, but thank you for your grace that picks us up from the fall. Do you have your Father, so we pray for the mindset of those that have fallen to the temptation and have sinned. Lord, strengthen that one today in the name of Jesus. Those that are being tempted and bend because of life's circumstances. Because of the heat and the pressure to get on us. 
It causes us to want to bend back to what was there before, dear God. We pray for us today that you would strengthen our backbone not to bend, dear Heavenly Father. In the name of Jesus. And Lord, in this prayer, we give you praise for the temptations that no longer even enter our minds. The thing that the enemy used to pray with don't even enter our mind. So we thank you for the victories that you've already shown us that we can have. And we give you praise for the victory of the leading of temptation. And we're giving you victory praise for those that have sinned in the temptation. Because the Heavenly Father, the things that used to be weak, now they're strong. So you're giving us a testimony that we can overcome. So those weaknesses that we may have right now, dear Heavenly Father, that can slow us down or utterly cause us to sin, we say, Lord, turn the weakness into a strength. And make us completely whole, blameless in spirit, soul, and body, that we can give you earthly glory and receive heavenly acceptance. Oh, Lord, let it happen today. Let it happen right now. Let it begin to be able to be accepted in each and every one of our minds that we will change today with more strength if there be that weakness, dear God. So let the weak say I'm strong. Yeah. Let the sick say I'm healed. Yeah. And let the powerful say I'm going to get stronger yeah. in the name of Jesus. Amen and amen. Somebody give God some glory. Oh, well, I thank God for what I have seen and heard today in this church, all souls, body of Christ. Now, we're getting ready to have an offering, and as Elder Hubert said on last week, we were doing a project that befell us. It wasn't because we said, well, you know what, we want to rip something down and put it 